Hello everyone, this is Ali and today we will talk about Windows 2022 which is the called Windows VNext. So VNext is just the project name, you can be sure it won't be named as a Windows VNext. Probably it will called Windows 2022. For the installation, I will use Hyper-V or you can select the VMware Workstation, VirtualBox or ES6, whatever you want. If you are using Hyper-V, you can follow me step by step. So, I will just go into New Virtual Machine and click Next. After that, I am putting the name of the Windows Server 2022. Windows Server 2022 Okay, I will select the data storing pad Just a minute, please I will select D1 and VM and Server 2022 It's okay, it's my located of the virtual machine store I'm going to next and I will select the second generation because windows 2022 it's a new generation virtual machine and i'm going to next and i'm going to set up the virtual machine memory it's enough for me just four gigabyte memory if you want you can increase or decrease it doesn't matter but my suggestion is lastly you can use two gigabyte memory so i'm using the dynamic memory as well I'm going to next and I'm selecting the network as a default switch and I'm going to next so next after that lastly I am selecting the ISO file which is I will share with you below of the video I'm selected new insider ISO going to next and finish So you can see here Windows 2022, double click and start. So let's see the Windows 2022 installation. Okay, I'm putting the, some of the keys for the installation. Yeah, okay. So this is the language. You can select just English because of the insider preview and this ISO is included of the just English. I am going to time currency and keyboard format. It's for me Turkish and Turkish Q. And I'm going to next install. And yes, this is the key. I will also share for the developer key with you. And you can select which key you will use. Okay, you can use Windows Server standard key or data center C. It's probably most using server version is this. That's why I'm copying this and going to pass the, my keys to the virtual machine. Okay, it seems good. I'm going to next. Okay, this is part of the selection. You can use Windows 2022 as a GUI, so it's desktop experience or core version as a Windows Server 2000 standard. It's just standard because I have put in the standard key. If you put in the data center key, it will be data center version. So I'm going to with desktop experience and going to next and I'm accepting the Microsoft service licensing terms and next so this is the part of the installation if you want to upgrade you can select one but it will clean install for me and custom I will select this one you can format or make a partition your disk in here I won't make any partition it's just C drive and going to next and yes so windows server 2022 installation is begun 
we will wait a couple of minutes okay it will restart now and yeah 22 version is here its default name default administrator name is administrator and i'm putting to my password it has to complex one okay and i'm going to finish after done my latest windows server will be appear yeah you can see here okay i'm putting to my password again and yes you can see windows server 2022 version in here so let's quick look to windows server version so it's starting menu you can see as an icon is a little bit different and soft actually and this is the server manager it will open okay just quick look to server manager and it's here and this is the tools you can see here event viewer and some of the tools okay just jump to the active directory domain controller installation i will install active directory domain controller in the server so i'm going to manage and add roles and features and going to next and going to next again so selecting this version and going to next again you have to set actually static ip address for the installation active directory but i won't because it's just test and quick look for me and i'm going to select the active directory domain services in here and add features after that i'm going to next again and i won't select anything from here is this the features okay i'm going to next and you can see the active director domain services and azure integration in here i won't select anything it's just information and i'm going to next again so if you need it will be restart and it need actually i'm putting the restart version but you have to careful for the product version and i'm going to install active director domain services for this new and latest windows server version okay it finished and i'm going to close this one and promote this server as a domain controller i clicked and if you have already existing domain you can select this one i haven't any domain in this case and i'm selecting to add a new forest for the my domain it will be new forest and new domain for me i'm going to earlier tool and i'm going to my domain as well it's net and i'm going to click next it's completely up to you for the domain and the name okay it will be forest function level and domain function level as well i will select 2016 because it's won't any 2019 in here as you can see and this is the latest function and domain function level i will select the 2016 and it will be domain controller dns server and global catalog server as well i will settings the dsrm it's not domain controller password you need to this password for the dsrm so restore north case i'm putting to my password again okay i'm going to next and next again the netbios name will appear by itself 
it probably will be Aliortul actually. Yeah, as you see, and I'm going to next. Yeah, the database folder, log files folder, and syspol folder, it has to be actually standard. And I'm going to next, next. And it will be some requirements in here. You will see the, my IP address or some of the noticing, but it won't be any failure in here. In the real case, I mean in the production environment, you have to set all of these requirements, but it's just test for me and I can jump. I'm going to install Active Directory domain services in here. So firstly, it will install DNS installation. And DNS is OK, so you can see checking the group policy management console, it will install as, as well. And some of the schema things you can see. And configure DNS service. Yes, I have selected the restart if it's required, so this computer will restart now. And restarting automatically. And okay, I'm going to my username and password. Okay, you can see in here Active Directory users and computers. Let's get it, create a new users and new O and quick look at the Active Directory domain services, Active Directory users and computers panel. Yeah. As you can see, it's similar for the Windows Server 2019 and 16 as well. So let's just create a new user. I'm going to on users tab and new and users. I'm putting the name and last name. It just will be Ali for me. And password never expires. I'm putting the password again. And next, finish. Yeah, you can see is user in here. And let's get start a new O as well. I'm going to new and organizational unit as an, for example, IT. And okay, yeah, you can see here the organizational unit as well in here. Perfect. So if you see the some of the tools like a CMD is here and PowerShell as well is here and you can see the version of the CMD and you can see the PowerShell is here as well. It seems pretty good. So I like the Windows Server 2022. It's coming with the Microsoft Edge, by the way. And most attractive things for me, you can see in here, control panel. Because in Windows Server 2019, control panel was disappeared. But in here, it seems, and it's pretty good, actually. We need the control panel as a system administrator. You can see all of the control panel features. So Windows Server 2022, its latest version Windows Server. Thanks for watching me.